So the next part of my classroom that I'm going to talk about is role play. It's really, really important in year one and two, especially to have role play. Um, it's where they learn a lot of their communication skills. They work together. Brilliant place for putting your child led. Often they'll come up with much better ideas than you for role play. Mine have already asked when I uh, had a little practice with them in July, they wanted a cafe. So we're starting off with a very simple cafe. I don't do too much to the role play. Um, I encourage them to make the labels. I encourage them to, to um, set it up how they want to set it up. Um, once the children are in, it will grow and it will develop. I have put a little um, cafe customer order just to give them a little bit of inspiration for some writing when they're in the role play area. They absolutely love the telephones. And even though um, nowadays we don't use a telephone like this, somehow they know how to use it. Um, they love the buttons and I've got two so that they can phone each other. And quite often one of them will go outside and one will be inside and they will phone each other and have a little phone conversation um, to make their order. Also, I have the keyboard. It's just an old broken keyboard, but they love that one for role play as well. It's really important to have real items. The real objects are always the favourite. Things like the old coffee um, pot and things like that. Sometimes I label the things in the role play. I'm going to start off with some CVC words um, and numbers are included as well. I've numbered my jugs. I've numbered my pots, just to encourage some little bit of counting while they're in the role play. That's that area. 